In this video, we're going to be given some information about the age of different individuals, and we're going to be asked to predict how old they are now based on the information. To help us organize and set up the information given to us, we're going to set up everything in a table so we know what we're talking about. Looking like a tic-tac-toe grid, maybe I should line that up with the... line it up with the lines on the paper here. Set up a tic-tac-toe grid. We're going to be interested in the two people. We'll put their names in the first column, maybe A and B to represent Alex and Brian. And then in the next column, we're going to put whatever we know about their age right now. And then in the last column, we're going to see some type of change occur in their age. Might be like plus 5, because we're going 5 years in the future, or minus 2, because we're going 2 years ago. Some type of change is going to be put in the last column. Often, we'll be asked to find uh, their age now based on a future situation, which means the equation is always for the change column. So for this first example, we're told that Alexis is 5 years younger than Brian. In 7 years, the sum of their ages will be 49. How old is each now? Let's break this up into the pieces we're working with. Well, with our table. So here's my table. We'll use A and B for Alexis and Brian. What's happening now and the change? Well, first we're told that Alexis is 5 years younger than Brian. Is is talking about what's happening right now, so Alexis is 5 years younger than Brian. Well, how old is Brian? We don't know. So for Brian now, we're going to say X. What we do know is Alexis is 5 years younger. That means we have to subtract 5, subtractions built backwards, from Brian. So Alexis now is X minus 5. Then there's some type of change that's described. In 7 years, we'll stop there. That tells us the change we're talking about. In 7 years, we're moving forward in time 7 years, so we're going to add 7 to each of these cells. Let's start at the bottom. Brian is just X. We're going to now have X plus 7 to show 7 years in the future. Similarly, with Alexis, we're going to add 7 to the x minus 5, and when we combine like terms, the minus 5 plus 7, we end up with plus 2. Now let's keep going through the problem to come up with our equations. What happens in 7 years? The sum of their ages will be 49 years. The sum of their ages. Alexis's age plus Brian's age will be 49 years. But that's talking about the future. That's talking about what happens in the change column. This means Alexis can be represented in the future with this change column of x plus 2. Plus, Brian can be represented in the future. Brian, in the change column, is x plus 7, is equal to 49. And now we have an equation which we can solve to find our variable. No distributing necessary because there's only positives in front of the parentheses. x plus x is 2x, 2 plus 7 is 9, 2x plus 9 equals 49. Solving the two-step equation, we subtract 9, 2x is equal to 40, and then finally, we divide both sides by 2 to find out x is equal to 20. But who is x? Brian is x, right? Brian is 20 years old. Alexis We've got x minus 5. Whoops. Well, 5 less than that, 20 minus 5, is 15. We now know that Brian is 20, 
I'm sorry, Brian, yeah, Brian is 20, and Alexis is 15. Let's try another example. Setting up our little tic-tac-toe grid to organize what everybody's at right now, and after the change that's described. We've got Maria's 10 years older than Sonia. Eight years ago, Maria was three times Sonia's age. How old is each now? Well, we're talking about Maria and Sonia, and we know that Maria is 10 years older than Sonia. Well, gee, how old is Sonia? We don't know, so Sonia is our variable. Maria is 10 years older, and addition's built backwards, so we have x plus 10 for Maria. And then there's some type of change. How much change? Eight years ago, stop there. Eight years ago is our change, subtracting eight to get our change. So starting at the bottom here with Sonia, who was x, now if we subtract eight, we have x minus eight. With Maria, we're subtracting eight. When we combine like terms, ten minus eight is two, so we've got x plus two left in the change. Now that the change is all filled out, what happened eight years ago? Well, eight years ago, Maria was three times Sonia's age. Maria was, past tense of is, three times Sonia's age. Well, now we can use this change column to build in our equation, because Maria, eight years ago, was x plus two. So Maria is now x plus two, equals three times Sonia. What was Sonia eight years ago? x minus eight. Notice the importance of the parentheses as I make a replacement. We now have an equation we can quickly solve by distributing the three. x plus two is three x minus twenty-four. Get the variable on one side by subtracting x from both sides. 2 is equal to 2x minus 24. Solving the two-step equation by adding 24 to both sides. 26 is equal to 2x. And finally, dividing both sides by 2, x is equal to 13. But who is that? Sonia is x. Sonia is 13. Maria is x plus 10. 13 plus 10 is 23. We now have the age of Sonia and Maria.